summer we introduced you to an amazing young woman from Woodbury, New Jersey, as a matter of fact. How about that, Bob? A, a model named Rebecca Marine. If it don't hurt now, it just makes you speed away. I was born without a right forearm, and there really wasn't an explanation to my mom what had happened. What are you gonna do when the world don't open up around you? I was a very insecure person in high school especially. I was really quiet about it. I never liked people asking me questions. I used to wear long sleeve shirts and I would always tuck this sleeve into the pocket so you wouldn't really notice I was missing an arm. Well, that all changed when a friend talked to her about getting a prosthetic arm and modeling it. She did and her career has just skyrocketed from there. Rebecca just rocked the catwalk at New York Fashion Week. Look at her, go girl. Mm. And more good news, she's learning how to use a new bionic hand. First woman in Philly. Love this. So she's here with us now. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And you're here with your prosthetist. Did I say it right? Yes, you yes. did. Yes. Ryan Smith. What is a prosthetist? Oh, we design and fit artificial arms and cool. legs. Yeah. Well, look at the. This is Rebecca. Is this your older one? That's the last one that I had as a kid. So oh. That's probably from third grade. Third grade. <laughs> Yeah. Well, look what you have now. <laughs> Stick that thing up in the air. Nice. That is bionic, isn't it? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, first, though, I want to talk about Fashion Week, and we'll get into that. Okay. Because okay. amazing New York Fashion oh Week, what was that like? It was so incredible. There was such a rush, and it was just, it was an all-day thing. I got there around noon, and we did hair and makeup, and I didn't even walk until about 8.30 at night. Mm -hmm. And it was just a 30-second experience and you're done but it was so incredible are there you other didn't models find out? with the prosthetic arms and yes. there were other um i guess you could say disabled models hmm. uh, there were models in wheelchairs and um there was another girl who was missing a limb as well yeah uh, so there were a bunch of other but the thing is you didn't find out you were doing it until like a couple days before yeah i had oh like four days notice before i went oh. i was like oh my god so <laughs> it was really crazy you didn't get into modeling until what in your 20s yeah i think i was about 23 years old yeah. when i decided i was out of college by then and just decided to making just, money yeah, cool. I, I actually have an upcoming project with Nordstrom, so that's oh, really well, that's huge. Yeah, yes. so this is incredible. Congrats! Thank you. Now, when I meet, when I come up and meet you, should I shake your prosthesis, or what do we call this? Buy it. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's like, oh, you grip. That's a good grip, <laughs> yeah, woman. Yeah, she does. Oh. <laughs> Help them out. You can really grip down. Yeah. So, what are we looking at here? How does it work? Ryan? So Rebecca has two uh, electrodes inside her prosthesis and they make contact with her skin. Mm -hmm. So the muscles that she still has under her skin, uh, when they contract, these electrodes pick up those signals and they tell the hand to open or close. So that's how they know what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. How's so that possible? So the muscles on the inside of her arm, they give off a really small amount of voltage when they yeah. contract. Uh, the muscles on the inside of the arm uh, make a signal that is converted to hand close and the muscles on the outside of the arm do the opposite. They open the hand. Now, how many hours of practice did you have to do to make sure it knew what to do and how to use it? Oh, I'm still working on that. Yeah. Well, you look like yeah. you're doing great. <laughs> I've, I've gotten down a few, you know, daily tasks, mm -hmm. but I'm still working on learning how to do certain things. I'm looking at footage of you, you so you can oh, yeah. cook, right? <laughs> I'm learning how to cook. What else are you learning to do with it? Uh, typing. That's one of oh. my biggest things because I, I work at Woodbury Nissan, so I'm constantly typing uh, on the computer. I uh -huh. work in the internet department, so uh, so that's one of my biggest things. Uh, the biggest adjustment adjustment for me. What uh, have you ever like? What's the biggest screw up that's ever happened? <laughs> <laughs> I think I. Um, you know, the other night I was actually just working with it and I gripped onto my refrigerator door mm -hmm. and it got stuck on it. So, and I couldn't oh, no. get home. So, so what did you <laughs> I'm do? just having this battle with the refrigerator <laughs> for a while. Well, well, look at what we have us. on the table here. Yeah, we want to see you. How do. delicate can you pick up things, you know? Okay, so this is how I would, you know, just take my vitamins and do something like, like that. What did you do before when you had to open it? I would normally just hold it like that. Yeah. 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 Okay, now well, let's this, pick up some candy, some Reese's. The hand is a little different in some of the other prostheses that she's had and that all the fingers move independently. So you can see, she can switch between different ways that the hand opens and that. closes. What? So Pretty she cool. can manipulate her muscles in a way that will uh, assign just the first two fingers to work with the thumb. And Look then she that. can manipulate the muscles again to go back to what she was doing before now, all five fingers move. Are you thinking what you're doing? Yeah, I guess there's something that, sends it that to has your to go into it. Forearm. Yeah. Hmm. Wild. It's What's called that? myoelectrics. So that's lip gloss. Can you pick? Now do you have to tell it? Now is your phone connected then to this as well? 
Yeah, so essentially this app, which is on a, uh, a smartphone or an iPod Touch, this, this comes along with every one of these hands. This is called an iLim Ultra Hand. And there are a lot of different ways that the fingers and thumb will move. So uh -huh. we can press a button and she can uh, switch different modes. So you have to have the phone with you at all times that you were using your hand? It's not necessarily. Not all no. the time. Cert certain uh, ways that she can open and close the hand, she can manipulate her muscles to, uh -huh. to tell the hand that it wants to switch into a different mode like she's doing now. Yes. But there's so many different combinations of these six motors moving that uh, they're probably 24 other grips that she can just So how does it work? She'll walk up, she sees something, you press it on the phone mm -hmm. to tell you, okay, this is the mode I need to pick up this Reese's cup, and then you do it. Okay. So, for example, if we press this button, this is called a lateral grip, so this, this is going to actually, um, it's going to assign the thumb to move over like this, and now okay. she, can, she can use her open and close signal to move the thumb and Get pick up the thumb things. Yeah. <laughs> you can hitchhike, but don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How does this change your life? Um, it, it's between modeling and just my personal life and just doing daily tasks. It's been incredible. Um, now able to just kind of even out my body, you know, yeah. as far as typing. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like angling like Constantly. this. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really been life changing for me. Oh, Good to meet you. Let's grip again. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Yeah. oh, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Look at you. Oh, there it goes. There's always nope. a problem. <laughs> Give me two. Oh my gosh. Peace. Yeah, Please, we'll just baby. peace out. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Let's get to Jen. Right. Thanks. Because Jen, of course, you're there with.